Hello YouTube, Mike Zero Kilo November Mike. <clears throat> so today, um, as you'll see by the uh, <clears throat> the title, uh, that we've um, I've gone and bought, uh, or we're going to make today. I'll say we're going to make. We're not really going to make it, make it. But what we've done is we've got a, a loop on a ground transformer. Now I'll show you it. It is this one. Little tiny transformer, and it's from lmkits.com. <clears throat> now, this one I, I bought as a as a pre-made kit, uh, a, sorry, a pre-made, uh, but you can also get them as uh, kit form. So you can you can buy it in kit form, um, be a little bit cheaper, and um, you can you can build it yourself. These aren't, as far as I know. Uh, very difficult to to make uh, he does give you instructions so <clears throat> uh, if I take you to the screen I'll show you where we got it so I got it from uh, lmkits.com now if you put in lmkits.com from now when I bought this it was lmkits.com but now um, they're called Omni RF they changed their name in the last couple of days uh, different website design um, so this is the the loop on the ground uh, 25 pound uh, little little thing here so you've also got options here uh, so you can have it as a kit form it doesn't cost you anything extra or you can it supplied uh, pre-built and it will cost you another six pound ex extra uh, you can have it with a 50 ohm BNC connector which is the one that I've got or you can have it on a 75 ohm uh, F connector. Um, I didn't. I don't have um, <clears throat> a connector for the F type. It is up and on my mast, so I don't have a spare one. Um, which is the reason why I didn't. I didn't go for that. It saved me buying another another connector. Um, and then you can either have the no element, which is the one that I I got because I've got um, some old wire that come down from when I pulled my uh, dipole down because um, I'm going to be redoing my dipole um, so you can have it supplied no um, element uh, a 60 foot element or 100 foot element <clears throat> 60 foot is next to 22 pound or the 100 element um, is another 30 pound or you can have the old version a 60 foot one for 18 pound um, it was very quick on delivery. Um, delivery was very good. Uh, he does the design from here. The design, uh, most people, some people would know it. <clears throat> Kilo Kilo 5, Juliet Yankee. Um, where he says uh, you feed it from, from one of the corners and the radiation would be uh, along here. <clears throat> now, I can't do that with mine, um, um, so <clears throat> I'm going to do it um, a different way, so I'm hoping it will still work in the fashion that I want it to, um, but um, hopefully it will work relatively well. Uh, should we right so on the back of my radio uh, I've got the TS 2000 now on the back of the radio I have a little uh, RCA uh, connector on the on, on the back of the radio that is for the uh, as you can see here uh, HF RX antenna so it's a receive only antenna <clears throat> and as all I can do is uh, I'm not sure what uh, menu setting it is but I can set my um, RX uh, my receive just to come through um, that uh, receive only port um, so we're gonna do that and hopefully build a loop on the ground to receive to hopefully cut a lot of my noise down um, and see how good it is on on receive uh, my normal antenna is going to be my normal antennas um, but we're going to test this out and see how we go 
Um, <clears throat> I've heard many good things about them, so hopefully it, it's going to go well. So with that, um, I'll we'll, we'll pause that there and we'll take you outside for explanation of where I'm going to put it. Right, so we're outside. Uh, it's just started to rain. So this is where the coax is going to go in for it. And we're going to put it about in the middle of the shack on the outside, about here. And it will go across here. Then it will go down to there, across to there, down to about there. And then I'm going to have to lay it across the grass uh, to come across here. Um, and then back to here so hopefully that will work <clears throat> and we'll get just short of 100 feet there um, I know it said it wanted 100 feet but I'm hoping we can get it still working with less than 100 feet uh, as you can see that is the little tiny like receive an antenna I've got for the um, QRM eliminator so hopefully we'll be able to take that one down as well so let's have a little look right so I've got some cable in from here going around here you can see it there we go around here and it comes across the grass like I've had to cut the grass because I couldn't get the cable down properly so it comes back under here and this is where we'll hook it up so I'm going to go around and I'm going to tack the cable in around the edges I'm going to leave that running in the background Right, so that is now all plumbed in. I'm kind of going to tidy this up more when it's uh, a bit better day. It's quite windy, quite wet, the ground's really wet. So we're in there and the cable goes up here and through there. So now we're going to go inside and uh, stick the other end on the cable. Right, so I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd um, finish this up. Um, I've spent a last now couple of days um, obviously you haven't seen it in the in the video but I've spent the last couple of days on the uh, the loop on the ground um, and I'm, I'm not sure um, that it's working for me in in my situation um, I do need to do more with it uh, but I've I've had it in um, a configuration uh, many different configurations so um, let me just bring up a, uh, a page uh, where are we uh, this one this one Is it this one just trying to think where it is now. Uh, antenna, loop on the ground, and then it's him. 
Right, so. On this, I've fed it, I have fed it from a corner, um, and had, uh, and had it kind of radiate like this, um, but if you were to have that um, twisted round so the, the feed point was in a corner here and it went up in, in a square. Um, so I've done it that way um, and the signals kind of just went down, which I was expecting obviously because it's a, it's, it's a loop on the ground. Um, but it didn't make any signal more readable, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be more real. I know the the noise, uh, the uh, the signal to noise uh, floor ratio is supposed to be a lot better. Um, but I've 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 done it in that kind of configuration, but turned it uh, to that way so it feeds uh, this end. I have fed it in the middle, and I have fed it from this end. So if I feed it from the middle. Um, the, the radiation pattern is across that way um, say if you had the it so it would be off of this end and this end if that was you know square um, and then I've had it on this corner uh, so then um, the radiation would be from this corner and this corner and then I've put it on this corner so then the radiation is obviously this corner and this corner um, and they all don't seem to make my situation any better. Now, I'll give you an example. So that is the end fed half wave. That's the end fed half wave. Uh, no preamp. That is now the uh, configuration that is in, uh, is in it is in at the moment, which is the uh, fed from the middle, so it's coming off of each end, so it is picking up from um, oh, northeast southwest, I think it was uh, northwest southeast, sorry. Um, so that's that's where it's picking that up from. normal end fed so um, it is lowering of signal and giving a, a more clearer signal but anything that is a low signal from the end fed anything that was a low signal that maybe I could clean up some other way um, I would not be able to hear with the log on uh, with the uh, loop on the ground um, which to a degree is not what I'm wanting I'm wanting to be able to make the lower signals more clearer um, And if I do it this way, so that's the standard N fed half wave, and that is the QRM eliminator hooked up to the uh, vertical. Uh, the Hustler. So, 
Um, I'm not sure if anybody knows if maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, can can give me a hand, maybe some ideas. Um, I do not fault the loop on the ground. I have heard many, 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 um, many good things about it. But so obviously, what I'm experiencing is down to uh, human error, might me. It's, it's down to what I'm doing wrong. So if anybody has any ideas, uh, let me know. Because um, it, it would be nice to, to, to get this, you know, to get this sorted. Um, I won't I won't give up on it, um, but I think we're going to leave that there as it is. I've, I've done this now for um, about three days now, um, being out here. So I'm going to give this um, a rest for a minute. I'm going to go back to the table, have a little think, think maybe what I'm doing wrong, um, and I'll, I'm going to go from there. So uh, if anyone's got anything, let me know. Um, your, your help would be much appreciated. Uh, so with that, bid everyone 73s. Uh, like and subscribe uh, for more videos. Uh, we're doing more, uh, more live streams. So uh, watch out. Bye for now.